So uh, this is the uh, simulation environment in Centum VP uh, inlet flow. Mm, we will change the inlet flow, and uh, the inlet flow is uh, the value of inlet flow will determine the amount of steam here. The ratio is cons constant, zero point uh, seven. Uh, the fl uh, the output of the ratio control is determining uh, the set point for the. Mm, a steam inlet or a steam flow to the uh, exchanger. Uh, I will increase the mm, inlet uh, material, flow of inlet material and see uh, the effect on the uh, mm, steam flow. And at the same time, uh, we have this uh, analyzer controller here. Um, we uh, keep this uh, analyzer controller to be manual and the output of this uh, analyzer controller is fed into the the ratio control uh, we consider 0.9 or 90 percent and the uh, outlet flow will be um, the 90 uh, percent of the inlet flow so i increase the uh, mm, increase the uh, inlet flow and see what will happen I increase it to 100 and uh, we will see that what, what, uh, what will happen. Uh, you can see that the mm, set point for uh, the, uh, the set point is uh, changing, the uh, flow control set point is getting 90 and uh, uh, we are uh, increasing the, uh, the flow rate will be will be increased and uh, here our um, uh, pressure of the uh, tower is around 30 the set value is, is, should be 40 uh, we can change that and uh, uh, we can see the result here uh, the flow is in, uh, increasing and the level also is increasing so I changed the uh, uh, floor it to the previous value and uh, again you can see that the steam flow is decreasing and the uh, the output flow is uh, decreasing at the same time the uh, mm, the level in the bottom of the color is also uh, decreasing uh, we will uh, start, start another um, test uh, mm, the next test will be blocking the output of the uh, the output product output i want to uh, change this product output to manual mode and uh, totally close the um, the output of the um, output product output and you can see that there is a, a square red score here uh, when the uh, output uh, product output is uh, cl uh, is closing uh, the accumulator level will be increased dramatically and after we reaching to 50 uh, the flow is uh, uh, the reflux flow you can see the reflux flow is um, inc is increasing uh, in order to maintain the accumulator level so we have more than 50 here the reflux is increasing and uh, possibly the level of the uh, column will be uh, increased you can see that yeah it's a very dangerous uh, situation it's a very dangerous because we don't have uh, we don't have any mm, uh, we don't have any uh, product output steam is uh, uh, is uh, lined up to the system and we just have a circulation it's very dangerous and uh, um, let me see if the level is getting close to the max it's a safety risk and uh, in normal uh, cases we should have some uh, shutdown valves here and the shutdown valves for steam and the, uh, the, uh, the column should be isolated uh, but here we don't have those safety issues and I changed the uh the output control to the uh 
to the casket mod in order to um, uh, maintain the uh, normal operation. So it's this is this example is uh, it's not one hundred percent perfect uh, distillation tower. In a real application, we should have safety measures like the uh, SDVs here, SDV here. We need the SDV in outlet and some PCVs here if pressure is increased uh, something should be done um, or you know in PSV that uh, that is or that is um, connected to the filler uh, mechanism so uh, that's all for this section and uh, you can see that uh, the, the process is getting to the normal condition the level is decreasing and the uh, uh, system is getting to the normal operation. Now you can see that uh, the, the set point is uh, 63 and the level the uh, the level of the column is uh, decreasing dramatically in order to uh, keep the balance and you can see the we are reaching to the set value very quickly here and uh, the level is uh, decreasing here and we are getting close to the normal operation uh, the set value here is Uh, the next function test will be, we are uh, getting to a uh, steady state, we, the next function test will be putting the steam control valve into a manual mode and uh, change the, uh, um, close the steam valve totally, so uh, we will lose the, uh, the heating component here the heating is uh, lost here and uh, you should see that uh, we should we have an increase of the uh, level here the level of liquid will be increased here and uh, before reaching to the max I put it in again in cascade and uh, this thing will be available very soon and we have the uh, vaporization process uh, started again this is a very dangerous uh, uh, safety risk and uh, we need to shut down 
the uh, inlet and the outlet, outlet part of this tower. So the inlet will be increased and the level will be uh, maintained. Uh, in the next topic, I will put the um, this pressure control valve into uh, manual, and I will um, close this uh, my pressure control valve, and we will check if the this uh, um, pressure control valve is uh, is closed. Uh, what will happen? Uh, it's clear that the uh, we need to. Um, increase the steam but uh, normally the pressure should build up here uh, the pressure of the column will be increased uh, in a uh, dramatically in a dangerous way and uh, uh, before reaching into a max value I will put it again into uh, into um, automatic and uh, I use this uh, uh, pressure relief uh, a strategy that is implemented here Uh, before uh, pressure getting out of, out of control, I put the valve in uh, automatic mode, and uh, you can see that the valve uh, the valve will open in order to regulate the uh, regulate to the pressure here, and uh, we will see how uh, the pressure will reach to the set value here.